Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today card four in my So Amazing Stamp Set series featuring Lawn Fawns, So Very Mice, and Sewn with Love Stamp Sets. There is my color guide. If you are interested, it can be found on my blog at inkyandscrappy.com. And it should be in that color combo for Uhuhu Markers tab off to the side. It's a separate page and it will be towards the bottom on that one, at least as of May 2023. I'm bringing in Juan Fon's Flower Market Paper Pack in the 6x6. I wanted something subtle and I thought the neutral on these just worked very well for my image. It kind of goes with the gray that I have the button cover colored in and the gray of the mouse and so it's you know it adds a little bit of interest but it definitely has some neutral kind of just it doesn't distract from my seat. Is that what I'm getting at? That's what I'm getting at. Yes. So I'm going to cut those down so they will fit in my little window there. So my little window sheet here is actually Lawn Fawn's largest stitched scallop rectangle with a inside out stitched circle. I want to say one of the larger ones, but as you can see, it fits inside. And so I do these, I do them in a bulk run because I actually did them for a card class that I did locally back in... I want to say it was my January class. It might have been my, no, it was my December class. No, November? I don't remember. It was in there somewhere. Anyways, I had done a whole bunch of them because, as you know, when you're painting and stuff and inky fingers, we tend to get them on the front. We're looking at a white panel and to keep that white. So I always cut extras for class. And then since I was cutting them, I was like, oh, well, I have that all lined up. So when I do them, I do a, I tape my two dies together so I don't have to sit there and fiddle with them. And I can just run paper through one after another to get the whole bunch. So it saves time, you know, later on down the road. So I have my paper in there as my wallpaper and then my flooring here. And then I did bring in a scrap of paper from when I cut, I think it was on one of my last ones. It's in this card series. The stitched, the simple strip, stip, simple stitched strips from Trinity Stamps. Wow, I can't talk today. Anyways, I'm going to plow through and not stop. So I don't have those cut apart in this. I think that little skinny strip actually is a piece of like in between the two dies. But it worked. It was a straight line and it was skinny and it worked for my floorboard perfectly. So the idea behind this one, I wanted to keep it super simple color tone wise. I just went with those pinks and the teals. And if you didn't realize that the pinks and the teals, so my color map was actually one that I had created for fellow stampers that ended up doing the create with us lawn fawn class that do who, who markers and so i wanted to do the class but life just was not in my favor for it and i had planned on doing it and i never got around to it so i had you know that was kind of my color theme for this whole series because i had done the color map to go with that create with us class and since I didn't end up doing it I thought well it would just be fun to keep to keep it on here anyways I am just currently building the scene trying to you know figure out where I'm going I don't have the coordinating dies for either of these two sets so I do end up fussy cutting here and there just because I like them to be my images not to get covered up by the white Sometimes, especially like with the needle and the thread sort of thing. And as I was watching the replay, I'm like, it kind of looks like she's holding a wand. And so, you know, it kind of goes with that Cinderella dress as the focal point there. She obviously needs a lot of coffee because, you know, that's hence the coffee on the stool and the one on the floor that's empty. Because, you know, if you're always on a, you know 
tight schedule or deadline that usually requires coffee in massive quantities or caffeine. Chocolate would probably work too. Anyways, so that was kind of, so I brought the mug in from the virtual friends add-on. Of course, the little mouse here is actually from the a creature with stirring stamp set. So the little mouse with the apron. She's like one of my favorite mice. I don't know why. Her and the little overall dude or do that. Either or. Both of them are adorable. I think it's because they have clothes on. Yeah. So I'm going to add her all popped up too. So her and that dress are kind of the center of of the scene or the most important for this things up in that shadow box scene and then I'm going to add in all of these little buttons that you know she maybe was thinking about using or spilled out of the jar or if you know how my house my craft area looks there's always embellishments laying around they kind of get away from me sometimes it happens so once I'm happy with the scene, for the most part, I decided I needed a sentiment. So, um, let's put it this way. When sentiments go wrong, um, I can't say that it went exactly as planned. And so you'll see what I do, because I knew that I should have had that sentiment already stamped on that sheet before I put the the foam adhesive on there and uh, yeah it's you know kind of like adding in these little pieces some of them maybe should have gone in the background before I did the ones in front but that's not here nor there I wiggle around it so I could decide I wanted something it looked like it needed something on the bottom there and uh, I did not like the scissors I did end up going and just hand stamping the pin in here was I nervous about doing it yes very much so and then to I just ended up hand coloring those right on there no big deal it was super fast so I am still trying to decide on my sentiment for the other thing I did decide that I wanted to put the banner up on top you see I brought in that one it was a pre-colored one from a previous batch of color images. It didn't quite color match. I probably could have gotten away with it, but I will bring that in later on. So I really want to use that. So, and so I was like, well, hmm, I'm thinking about it because I know it's going to be super risky and I could have done it in the misty, but I didn't have my misty cleaned off. There was like oodles of different stamps on there from stamp class and I hadn't gotten around to it yet and so I was you know being my normal self and not wanting to clean off what I probably would have saved me time but whatever so I ended up doing all of my embellishing to my little scene here going in with glossy accents on the button jar the pin heads and then adding glitter to the dress so in my head she was sewing on all of the glittered the glittered things so you'll see that I add glitter to the spool because it's glittered thread so it's but really she looks like her the fairy godmother like with her little wand but it's the needle in the thread it is what it is so I'm happy with my scene I need to get my sentiment on there. So I'm bringing in this dress oxide in salvage patina. It goes fairly well with that colored image. And then I'm going to kiss it to the peacock feathers on the top of the bottom. I kind of want to get a two-tone look to it. Did I achieve it? Probably not by the time I was done because it didn't end up working out. We'll see here. So as I'm holding this on here, I pulled out my distress glaze, embossing glaze, because I knew that if it didn't stamp clearly, I could maybe fix it. 
So this is called using your stamped image as your guide for coloring or, you know, embossing. So I brought in my Ranger embossing ink pen, I guess if you call it. Yeah, I had to find it first. I haven't used it for a long time. It was where, you know, I stuck it last time. So I'm using the bullet nib on that, and I'm going to just trace over as best as I can the line of the stamp. So I just retraced over that so, and I did do the whole image because I didn't want it to stick in some places and not in others, if that makes sense. And so, and then I'm just going to come in and very carefully add that salvaged patina embossing glaze to my image there. I'm, everything else above is still wet, so I have to be super careful on this one to not muck it up. Yeah, I, I told you, it was one of those, like, hmm, probably should have done this way before this point in time. <sighs> it, it, it turned out okay in the end. So I was happy with my sew on that one, but then I went and stamped my other part of my sentiment on here. And that didn't go as well. Would have it been okay? Yes. Did it look okay? No, it was crooked. I it it had been okay, but I didn't like it. So when I stamped it, I stamped it crooked and I did not like it. And so I already stamped it on a piece of colored stock, went in and heat embossed it just like I did the sew on that one, and then went over it with my alcohol markers and colored it in so it matched with my color scheme in my card. I do like the finished product on the sentiment. I am happy with it. So I am doing that banner here. I did leave in a little bit of the coloring. So I go in with my darkest tone and then I go in with my second tone. And to get kind of a three ink blend of the two, you start with the second one and let it dry a little bit and then you go back over it again and then finish it off. Finish it off. So one layer on the middle part and then or one layer on the lightest part and two layers of that lighter color on the second part and then of course the dark one and then it'll blend it all in. So I went in and added that banner just to finish it up. I thought it just needed a little something. It was too white much too much white space for me up in that corner. And you know, you know me. I struggle with white space. And that's just me making sure I don't have any <sighs> sticky things or speckles. I think it actually stayed white for the better part. Yeah. I do like how this one turned out. I hope you enjoyed. Anyways, this is Jamie signing off for Inky and Scrappy. Make sure you subscribe, click the like button, comment, all of those things. I hope you have an amazing day. Keep getting Inky. Bye.